Hey everyone, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, this is being uploaded on New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's. Happy New Year's Eve. I cannot believe we are heading into 2024. Where did 2023 go? <laughs> because it zipped on a little bit too fast. Yeah, it's just crazy. I can't believe we're at the end of the year and yeah, I just don't know. Time just slow down. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to do one more free library hunt video before 2023 officially says goodbye. See ya, sayonara. <laughs> nice knowing you, <laughs> you know, um, video. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I was going to do it earlier this week, but Mother Nature... Well, she was not cooperating. It was raining. And, you know, it's very hard to <laughs> go to free the library when it's raining because um, books, you know, and water just don't go together. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but it's just cloudy today. It's still a little bit chilly. Not as cold. Like, I'm fine in my stitch hoodie sweatshirt, um, but it's it's not cold enough for snow. I, I heard we might not get snow till the end of January. Like it's cold, but it's not that cold. Um, but and our, our weather actually has been decent <laughs> for it being winter. Yeah, it's been nice. We're enjoying it while we can because I know it's not going to last. Uh, but I want like one good snowfall so we can go, you know, tobogganing and just have fun on the hill. Yeah. Um, usually we do it when the boys are on Christmas break, but I, I think it's the first time in a long time that this year that won't be happening. No. Yeah. But, oh well, what can you do? Yeah, I don't control the weather like a storm. <laughs> you know, from the mutants. Yeah, uh, I wish I, I wish I did. Um, so I have my Golden Girls tote bag here. I have the books I am going to drop off that I have read. I think I have quite a few in here. I do. So we're going to do that. I'll do a book on haul. Oh, and there's one free the library that's brand new so we're going to hit that one up first they're they're popping up all over but i have quite a few i'm really lucky um and <laughs> really blessed to have all these free little library options um they are like really all, all over the place i have like probably like around 10 um so I, like i try to switch it up uh, I try to stick to the ones, they're all pretty close to me, but some are close than others, and I try to stick to the ones that are really close to me, um, and today, today, you know, the boys are home from school, they're on Christmas break, so we can take our sweet time, and we could just mosey along, and, you know, do as many as we want, so, you know, I'll probably just do a few, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have the, the new one first, and, um, yeah, we'll check that one out. It's always exciting when there's a new one that pops up. Um, they're popping up everywhere, so. <laughs> and I kind of love that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I, I will show you which books I'm going to drop off. I have to set you up first. I need two hands for that. <laughs> All right, just arrived at the first free library, the brand new one. But before we go check to see how cute she is, because she is a cutie, um, I'm going, going to do a quick book on haul. So, okay, this first one has been on my to-be-read pile for a very long time. Very, very long time. I remember when I bought this book. <laughs> this, this, this is how long it's been on my bookshelf. Um, and I'm almost done reading those books that because I'm trying to get through the books that are on my bookshelf you know the pile that needs to get read and also tackling the books from the free little library <laughs> because they just keep adding up for some reason I don't know um <laughs> there's no such thing as too many books you know <laughs> but really it's nothing compared to um my Nicholas Sparks pile okay because I still have that pile to get through because I found a lot of Nicholas Sparks if you've been following me, following me for a while at a yard sale this past yard sale season and um, I still have to tackle them and I plan on doing that in the new year <laughs> okay <laughs> no, there's no hurry <laughs> and a couple of them I don't think I've read so yeah all right so this first one I remember buying it I think it was in April and it was during the pandemic and this was when you know we were finally allowed to buy 
whatever we wanted. There was no restrictions, right? Remember those days? I'm so glad they're done because those were, oh. Yeah, I, I don't like being told what to buy and what not to buy. Thank you very much, Dougie Ford, you know. Um, <laughs> I remember somebody, was it, oh my gosh, was it like a short I made? And I thought that I bought it for Ford. And I'm like, no, he's not in my area, but okay. You know? like, but I know who he is, you know, I don't know. Like, people just assume the stupidest things. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, this book came from Dollar Tree, to Dollar Tree, Dollar Fifty, and it is a really, really good book. You know, it's pretty much the female version of Sherlock Holmes. Okay, a conspiracy in Belgravia. So, a very good book, Sherry Thomas. Um, yeah, it was, if you like murder mystery like I do, I think it's like my favorite genre for books. This was really, really good. The price was right, $1.50. And this one is the one I could not get into. Oh my goodness, I could not get into this one. Um, and I got this at Dollarama for $3. Um, the art of racing in the rain. It, it's a movie. It got made into a movie. I could not get into it. I tried so hard, but it's pretty much the perspective point of view from the dog. And yeah, it's the dog going through like when the dog is getting ready to pass over Rainbow Bridge and he's kind of reflecting on his life, you know, when his owners first found him and when they started the family, you know, it's going down, you know, a dog's life right um i couldn't get into it and i and I, don't, I don't know if it's just the way it's written it's written like the dog is telling the story i don't know i couldn't get into it so eh. it, it has good reviews but you know not every book um yeah <laughs> it's going to be for everyone right yeah um this one i got at costco and this is just tells you how long this one has been on my big pile on my bookshelf because this one I got at Costco and I don't have a Costco membership anymore because it's just not in the budget. Hopefully one day in the future it will be, but as of right now it's not. Um but so this was like like this book has been sitting um I probably got this in oh twenty twenty one I think I think it was a twenty twenty one yeah like twenty twenty one so this, this has been sitting on my bookshelf for like two years we're pretty much close to it and this has probably been sitting on the bookshelf for almost the same amount of time um this was a really good book really good book um i enjoyed it um she goes through uh she has a bad month she goes through a bad divorce and her uncle passed away leaves her um in scotland and leaves her his home and um an antique book collection and she ends up falling in love with another guy and it's just it's a cute story it's just it's just cute like yeah how she just like kind of how she just kind of like you know moves on and rediscovers who she is and finds somebody else yeah really good okay um this one was a book i got in the summer I forgot to drop it off on my last visit. This one, um, I got at our first store. Okay, um, very hard to read. It is about World War. It's based on true facts. Um, I usually, like, I don't mind reading books, like, based on the wartime, um, but, um, they're hard to read because, it wasn't a good time. It was a cruel, hard time. And yeah. Um, it was still, it was, it was still good because it had like, you know, um, a mystery. And, but it was just, it was just, it was really hard. Like it, it was good, but it was hard because there was a massacre and pretty much like all the men in a town. Um, boys pretty much got lined, lined up by the Nazis, and they were all shot, um, yeah, Second World War, yeah, so it's a story of the German occupation of, um, I can't, I'm gonna say that wrong, 
um, C-R-E-T-E. -E. I'm just going to butcher that. So, <laughs> during the Second World War, of honor and courage and, and of the lengths to which a mother will go to protect her children. And it's a story of secrets that broke a family apart and of three enchanted women who came together to heal the wounds of two generations. It was really, really good, but it was just hard, hard to read. Yeah. And uh, last one, this one came from Frailer Library. My coffee spilt on it. Uh, there's coffee stains. Yeah, I can't really see. It's really hard, but yeah, there's coffee stains on here. Fly me to the moon. This was actually better than I thought it would be. Um, you know, she's a flight attendant and she walks in on her partner um, cheating on her. So, and she just kind of discovers her own way, you know, and overcomes it and, you know, eventually finds somebody else. And yeah, but it was like, yeah, it was a good book. It was a good, good book. Okay, so let's go check out the free little library. Um, I don't know if I'll leave any here because it does look pretty stacked. Maybe I'll just leave Ooh, one. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, I'm looking, and it looks pretty stacked. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I'm not sure. I'll bring one with me in case if there's room. I will leave it, but if not, um, I'll leave the rest at the... Yeah, I'm sure the other ones um, will have room. <laughs> All right, here she is, and she is adorable. Look at the little birds. Look at the handle. Oh, that's so different. Oh, you have to unlatch it first. <laughs> oh, never a dull moment. So yeah, I, she does look like she is stacked. I think there's room though. I think I will leave this one. Somebody else can hopefully enjoy it. Oh my goodness, she is stacked. Wow, where where does one begin? Oh, here's Noah Roberts, but I don't like paperbacks this size. Too small. Tiny print. <sighs> How to raise the perfect dog. Oh, Caesar Milan. Do you remember him? Oh, we used to watch his show all the time. Here's another one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Sophia. All right, two by the same author, but different one. Oh, Shopaholic. Wasn't that a movie? Hmm, I'm gonna have to take that one. Don't go. It's at... Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look. I'm gonna look at this one. This one may be coming home with me. Yeah, I think so. Take a quick look behind here, though. Oh, some bookmarks. How cute. That's oh, very cute. Okay, those are all oh, paperback. Oh, here's a dirty roll. We get snow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Anybody interested? <laughs> Oh, I see this one. Janet Oak, she's a good Christian author. Oh, I wonder if it's a, a series. Okay, I gotta take a look at that. Okay, I might be here for a while. <laughs> oh, where did I disappear to? Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> well, it's this one. Okie dokie. This one also has The Hobbit. I, I have The Hobbit, so he's staying there. And The English Patient. Who, remember, who remembers that movie? <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm good. To Dance with the White Dog. I think the only one I'm taking is a Jane Oak one. Yeah. Free little library number two, and she looks like she's pretty full too. Oh my goodness. And Christmas lights. It's so cute. I just noticed that birdhouse in the tree. That is cute. Should we knock? 
<laughs> See if anybody's home. <sighs> All right, let's see what we find. Oh my goodness. Oh, little lion in the footprints. <laughs> Cute. I'm going to drop this one off. I'll we'll put that one right there for now. One week in December. Every family has its secrets and surprises. Ooh. Okay, I might have to read that one, see what that one is about. Let's see. Oh, oh she a big one. <laughs> the river house. River house. This one looks familiar for some reason. The dangerous kind. Wild. That was a movie, wasn't it? Yes, with um. Oh, what's her face? Um, Reese Witherspoon. Apollo, what's up? Okay. Summer by the sea. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I have this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't. Oh my gosh, what a perfect day to come. Oh, that is so funny. I'll just add that to my pile. <laughs> that is hilarious. I do not have this one, but it's on my Amazon wish list. Um, or it was, because I'll be deleting it. Um, yeah, awesome. Oh, what a fine score. That is too funny. <laughs> All right, the next location is at the Libro Center, which is like a sport complex, complex and she is busy today. <laughs> the parking lot is like full. So I'm going to drop off these two, the war one and the girl Sherlock Holmes one. And I only have one more job off and one more free library that is close to this one that we will visit and that will probably be it and we'll call it for a day until 2024. <laughs> oh great, they moved up. Oh, hockey. We're gonna have Nancy Drew. Party boys are close by. Same very much. Lots of paperbacks. Strike one. I <laughs> didn't find anything. Too many paperbacks. And it's uh, busy in there. <sighs> so it's like, <laughs> find the free library because they moved it. So they must move it away in its winter because it used to be right by the doors. And <laughs> the first time I went to this one, <laughs> Um, I remembered where the location was 
and it was where it is right now. But at the time they moved in, I didn't know that. And it wasn't where I remembered where it was. And I went upstairs and looked for it. It wasn't upstairs. And I walked right by it. Did I ever notice it until I was walking out? And I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. I'm gonna find my car. Where am I? Right here. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a hockey game going on. And I figured that because. Uh, when I, uh, right before I start to video, you can hear cheers. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. As soon as I saw that it wasn't by the door, and I was like, oh, great, here we go again. <laughs> I'm, I'm really going to be looking for it. Oh, but no, they just moved it. So, okay, but it was just too busy. And of course, like, they put a bench right next to it and there were a couple of ladies sitting there and it's like can you like put the bench somewhere else you know like there was enough room but it's just a little awkward you know but I know it's just like too too busy for my liking it's like yeah, get me out of here <laughs> oh I know yeah oh okay but I didn't find any um there's just too many small paperback ones. Yeah, and then there's one. Why do people donate books? It was the color purple. I don't that's not one I want to read. Um, it's just you know, I don't I don't want to read that one. But the front cover was ripped off. Can we recycle those books, please? Don't donate books to free libraries or to thrift stores that are like ripped like that that is like a becoming a pet peeve now you know because it's just uh, you know what oh, i'm going to do is next time i'm going to take it when i see books like that i'm going to take them from the freedom library and recycle them you know because it's just nobody wants a book with the front cover just ripped off it's just no i, I don't understand i don't donate anything that it, you know like, like I'll like, you know, I'll donate it if like it has like maybe a small tear or like one, one of them had coffee stains, but that's fine. It's still in good, decent condition, but I don't call having the front cover totally ripped off in good, decent condition. That is recycle or garbage, whatever. Oh my gosh, I know. I just, I don't understand it. Anyways, so next time I think I'll do that. I, I wasn't, didn't think about that because I was just thinking take a quick look and get out of here because <laughs> it's just too busy all right last one for today oh the cute little reindeer oh that's adorable let's see oh not as full as the other ones oh, nope i'm oh, not really seeing anything that's okay uh, I'm going to leave my last one here. There we go. See the coffee stains right there? You can probably see it better now. But that's not as bad. As long as it's in re readable condition. And the front cover is there. <laughs> it's good to donate. Yeah. <laughs> no front cover. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, that, that would just bug me. Having a no front cover on the book. Yeah. All right. Well, that was quick. All right. Decided to stop off at one more the Snoopy one. Haven't been to this one in a long time since um, summertime, I think. And I decided to stop at this one since the last one was very, very short. And this one looks like it's going to be very, very short too. There's not much in here. Got the Holy Bible. Yeah. Stories for Christmas. Just because it's not working doesn't make it right. Oh, from toddlers to teens, teaching kids to think and act. Okay, ethically. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh my goodness, this one is like empty. <laughs> well, it's not empty, but I don't see anything of interest. Nope. There's a few Christmas books. 
old-fashioned Christmas oh gifts to make for family and friends Christmas crafts oh my goodness let's go on back oh Lego City mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll take these ones and flip through them and just redonate them when I'm done. Christmas is coming 1989 and 1990. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Those will be fun to flip through. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. I need more arms. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, so that one actually turned out to be pretty good you guys never say never <laughs> i honestly didn't think i was gonna find anything um but yeah these christmas ones oh my gosh like they bring back so many memories especially this one um and this was oh a special $5.99 <laughs> but look how cute that's why i love free little libraries um you never know what you're going to find I'm, I remember having books like this growing up. Okay, if you can uh, needle point. Um, I don't have the patience for anything to do with cross stitch needle point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured it would be fun to flip through. And oh my god, like I like <laughs> I could crochet Santa and Elf. Yeah, <laughs> I probably won't though. But you know. <laughs> I could, and it has the patterns. I figure, you know what, these will just be fun to flip through, and if I decide to, you know, redonate them, I'll redonate them. Yeah. Oh, oh, regular fourteen ninety five. That's the U.S. price. I wonder if there's like a date on this one. I mean, a year. Oh, look, okay, you can make your own, your own angel. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what the year is. 1984. I would have been uh, three years old. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this one, I, yeah, these books just bring back memories. Oh, this one is also special. Oh, but this one was $9.99. This was five bucks more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this one. The crafts, yeah, you, I can make. Oh, guess what? <laughs> Next Christmas, everybody's gonna get a gift. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a handmade gift. <laughs> oh, very nice. This one's fun. Uh, regular 1895. Year is 1988. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. Oh well. Yeah, this one has, let's see, wood tree hangings. Yeah, nope, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> uh, well, look how happy he looks. Yeah, he looks very happy. Yeah, it has, it's like you can make your own ornaments out of wood. Um, nope, no, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah. I thought this would be fun. Oh, look at you. Can, I can make stars. Yeah, there you go. Star ornaments. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun to flip through. Christmas is coming in 1990. Oh my gosh. Holiday projects. My children and parents. Oh my gosh. Oh, 1989. Oh my gosh. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to have fun flipping through this. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh wow! Oh, peppermint! You could make peppermint ponies. Go over your candy cane. Cute. You make yourself a nifty necklace. Fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip through this and you know, whatever. Whatever I mean, you know. If I don't find anything, I'll just redonate it or you know. Oh, this one has fun stuff in it too. You can make your own wreath. 
Wow, eh? Oh my gosh, this is funny. Who am I, who am I ever sneaking these? Winter Flurry Winstock. I remember making those. Yeah. Oh. Baseball card bag. Yeah, you never know when you're going to have a bunch of baseball cards. You need, you need a bag to put them in. So that's going to be fun to go through. I'm going to put everything in my, my tote bag. And... Yep, the other two books I got, just a quick recap, and then I will end this video, it's probably long enough. Um, Giant Oak Beyond the Gathering Storm, um, doesn't look like there's more than one, I think it's just like, you know, it's not, it's not a series, I don't like picking up a book knowing that it's part of a series, because I want, like, if it's part of a series and it looks really good, well, I want the other parts, you know. Um, it is large, large print, which is fine. And yeah, um, let me see. So, set in Canadian West during the early 1900s, <laughs> Henry <laughs> and Christine Delany had a rough start in life. He was abandoned by his family as a child. She was orphaned, but their luck changed when they were adopted by a warm, caring couple and grew up in a loving home now as young adults striking out on their own they find love where they least expect it henry is a mountie with a compassionate heart pursuing a young widow who's still grieving can she ever learn to love again we'll have to find out <laughs> and christine is dating her boss's son Ooh. Um, a young man who has no room for God in his life. Oh, that's not good. Can prayer and faith turn him around? Sweet and engaging, this love story is perfect for every romantic. So, that one sounds good. And, of course, Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> I can't get a bully right now because I have a pile. But this is the one I've, I've been wanting. And I think there's only one other one of his newest ones that I need. I forget which one it is. Um, but this is the second Nicholas Sparks book I found at a free library. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I love it. I cannot wait to read that. I'll just add it to my very, very big pile of Nicholas Sparks books to be read. <laughs> yeah, but it was just so funny because I was just talking about that. <laughs> it's like, Oh, then here we have it. I found it. I was like, oh my gosh, too, too funny, too funny. All right, guys, so that is the last free little library hunt of 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have quite a few of these. I think I'm going, I'm going to make a playlist of my free little library hunt, and that way it's easy for people to find if they want to go back and look at them and just rewatch them because they, they are fun and i love going because like i said you know you never know what you are going to find and the first two were like fully stacked um and so was the third one but there just wasn't a whole lot it was just small paperbacks and the fourth one um was yeah kind of empty that one has been stacked before I think it's like the first time kind of seeing it. Like it's there were still books in it, but it wasn't as much as I'm used to seeing in that one. Um, so yeah, that was like a quick visit. That was like under a minute. I'm like, well, that's you know, that was pretty quick. <laughs> so that's why I had to come to this one. I had to get one more, more in, and you know, it's the last one of 2023. So we have to make it a good one. The Snoopy one is cute. Yeah, really cute. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next um, fun video. And until next year, 2024, uh, we'll have to play it by ear, depending on if we you know if we have snow or not. Um, yeah, once I, well, I, once I, I usually go once I have, like, a few books to donate, so I better get reading. <laughs> yeah, I am reading one. I think I got Value Village, the We Bought a Zoo one that's based off the movie. Or, well, the movie's based on the book, you know, Matt Dean, Dean and, and, um, um, Black Widow, what's her name, Natasha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm reading that book. I just started it, that one. Um, yeah, so once I have a few books to donate, and we will make a, another trip in 2024, and 
yes, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Here's to an amazing, wonderful, fantastic, all good things in 2024. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care, be blessed, and ta-ta for now. Bye. Oh, and happy reading.